Hey, this is Alex from Merchati CRM and today I'm coming with a new tutorial about company billing. Today I'm going to take you through a few steps about subscriptions, about payments and how to add or remove a card, about credits, about balances, about how to auto recharge that balance and about billing history alongside transactions and detailed transactions. So let's have a quick look at the um, dashboard where you actually um, you know start your software as you can see at the top here I'm already informed that my balance is running low so if I want I can go in my company billing page and add some credit this is a standard notification when you have zero credit in your account why would you need some credit well for stuff like maybe you know phone numbers or for SMS or for even emails if you're running your emails through Lead Connect, and we are going to uh, learn about this. Now, let's go at the bottom left here in settings, and in settings, you have company billing. If you look at company billing, you will see right uh, from the beginning what subscription plan you are on. Okay, you will see when is your next billing date, pretty much when uh, AirChat CRM is going to charge your card. And then this is the card that you initially set up. It's a primary card right now. And if you add another one uh, by just typing the number here, the month, the year, the CVC and your name or the company name. And you want to if you want to make this card primary, this second card will become primary this time. So let's say if you have two cards, then you can basically uh, decide this month I want this card to be primary, next month I want this card to be primary, just by uh, activating a toggle here, which, you, which is going to appear on the second card. Now moving forward, um, let's talk about credits. Here you have your balance. Yeah, you can refresh your balance. And if you want to add some more balance, you just click add balance. Let's say you put $10 here. And as soon as you click to proceed, it's going to redirect to Stripe where it's Stripe is going to charge the, uh, the cards that you have as a primary card in your account. Let's say you want to never uh, be without credit in your account so you can do this by setting an auto recharge option so when your balance falls lower than ten dollars let's say you want the system to automatically top up with another ten dollars you can do this absolutely or if you just want to disable this option you just put zero and that's it um, it's not going to do anything Right. If you go to see details right here or credits, then you will see the transactions details. So this month so far, um, it's going to tell you exactly how many calls you've done, uh, SMSs you send and emails you send and how much will those cost. The last month as well. And you will also see the previous month as well. Um, if you go lower in the lower part of the screen here, you will see the detailed transactions, right? So right when I started my account, I received $10 complimentary credits and you can click on this one and see exactly when was that and what was it for. If you're topping up and so on, you will see all these details here. You also have a way to export this. If you look at the top right here, I'm actually in the way right there. Um, top right, uh, sorry, bottom right here, you have export. So if you, if you click export, then uh, all you need to do is type in the email account that you want to receive this export file and click export to uh, and send csv and that's it in about seven to ten minutes the csv file will be prepared and sent to that email address i think this is um, all about company billing it's fairly simple and straightforward just remember that um, some of these um, info will update every 24 hours so they are not updated in real time if you keep refreshing this one, it won't do anything. There is a cron running in the background. And uh, when, you know, 
the script is executed that's when you're going to see the new values in the system all right that's it for today and that's it for this tutorial thank you very much